Why? Why did we do this? Not... <laughs> you know, because people have come far and wide here to teach you some things. You know, we all want to fly. That's our dream. The fact there is a child inside you even now is witnessed by this. Yes or no? Yes. Now, one thing we have to learn. If you look at the aeroplanes lying down, okay, they are made of the same paper. The aeroplanes are made of the same paper. They were made at the same time, but yet they are all different. They have different qualities, they have different strengths, they have different weaknesses, they look different. Yes or no? This is variety. We people are also different. Somebody has qualities that somebody else does not have. Somebody has strength that other doesn't have. Somebody can speak well, somebody cannot. The fact that when we come together and learn is the fact where we can change ourselves and become same. Because if I see one great plane, Fatimi, your plane is not landed yet. Okay, no. <laughs> see, now, this seems to be a good one because it can definitely fly. Fit you, Laszlo. So, now, now this plane is a quality Wow, it came back. Now, this is a quality of the person who could fold it and make it. Life is like that. Experiences that you get, you learn to fold this and then go for a launch. Today, we are graced with people with so much experience in DXN. And the next two and a half days is all about learning how to fold ourselves in the most aerodynamic way that we can launch ourselves and take a long, long flight towards our dreams. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, so I then invite our first speaker to open the European camp and also to do his first presentation. Mr. N.K. Jijit, with a loud round of applause, can we welcome Mr. N.K. Jijit on stage? You know, let the claps go on. Hello? Hello? Yes? yes, yes. Up. Okay, all yours, Mr. Jeevit. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, good morning. So, after yesterday's session, I hope all are with a lot of energy and motivation. Yes? Yes. 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 We, are, we all feel relaxed, you know, when we declared these two events. It was really challenging for us. And with all, everyone's cooperation and contribution, successfully we have a concluded the summit. Now, next three days, we have a leadership camp. Only the real leaders of Europe are present here. When I say real re leaders, the one who are really committed, are ready to go to that extent, irrespective of their schedule, the working, uh, working days, they have shown the commitment. I would like to congratulate you. Thank you for participating in this program. A round of applause for you. <clears throat> now we are going to uh, today, DX in Europe. This is fifth uh, uh, leadership camp. It all started from uh, Greece six years ago. Then every year we have been doing one each. 
So this is the one which has got less participation almost after Greece. We expected almost 400 people, but because of the weekday, we have almost 175 here today. So European operation is going to take off from here onwards after yesterday's summit. We are not going to be the same again. We are going to show, first you have seen the lion's photo. We are going to be lion. When Mr. Asitio showed yesterday the graph of various regions, I asked him, why don't you show Europe? Because we are stagnant for some time. So people are neglecting us. Yeah, Mr. Thea? No, not anymore. We are going to show our true color. Yes or no? This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. In the direct selling industry, the whole world, Europe has a very prominent place. And DXN definitely deserve to be at the top in this region. And with all the committed leaders like you, there is no doubt that we can do a strong company, a strong network. All the time, we listen the challenges that you face in the market. A lot of challenges you face. The same way, company too face a lot of challenges. But most of the time, we don't talk about it. We keep it ourselves silently. We discuss only among the management. Like a husband and wife, you know, what our problem husband has, the wife should know. What our problem wife has, husband should know. Only then they can work together, cooperate each other, and have a healthy and pleasant family. Same way here, we have to cooperate each other. We need to know your problems, you need to know our problems. Only then we can work in harmony and go to greater heights. So today I'm going to tell you some of the key challenges DXN has encountered during the last 24 years in my memory. Over the hurdles, DXN in 24 years long journey. It must be interesting for you, right? To know what DXN has gone through all these years. The hurdles we went through. Nine hurdles I'm going to discuss, which may give you some insight about the company is capable of, and some of the points may help you to face the challenges in the market. Date of birth, 1993, DXN. It all started from a thought in the mind of Dr. Lim when he found Ganoderma. Instead of thinking how to make some money from this mushroom, he thought about the whole world. How can he do something for the humanity? Those who know Dr. Lim, he's a philanthropist. His values, whatever you see, the growth of DX in all these years, it is just because of his thought, his values, his principles. Everywhere you can see that. It's not because DXN is such a powerful company with all the features that a so-called big, big companies has. No. It is because, I believe, it is because of the principle, the values, the passion that Dr. Lim and the management and the people you carries that made DXN to this level, 24th in the whole world. There are thousands of companies, but DXN is 24th today. It is not a small achievement for a Malaysian company, an Asian company spreading business across the globe. So it all started here with a vision to go one world, one market. The first challenge Dr. Encounter or DXN encountered was in Malaysia. We say 1993 is the date of birth, but actually it was 1992. 
as per Dr. Lim. You know why? First one year, no business, no sale. Nobody joined DXN. Malaysian people themselves, they did not really felt that DXN could do something. Nobody joined. So in doctor's own words, it was a very, very pathetic situation. What to do? Doctor was thinking to close down DXN, sell it off to somebody, because he had a very good job. His wife was also working, like anybody else in a middle class family. What to do? Unable to sell. One day he got a call from one lady. She wanted to buy RG. That time it was only RG. Doctor went to her with one RG because her husband wanted this product for his problem. So the lady asked, I want to buy. How much it cost? So the cost the doctor said to us, some 70, 75 ringgit for one bottle and unable to sell. So before doctor told how much it cost, this lady started opening her uh, small wallet. It's a piece of cloth, opened one, two, three, then she took out some money. And doctor looked at it, it was 50 ringgit. So she asked how much it cost. So he was thinking, if I say 70 ringgit, she will not be able to buy. If I say 50 ringgit, it is below the price. There, he followed his heart. He told 50 ringgit is its price. The first sale, he sold first RG to that lady. So in doctor's terms, it was a message from God for him to start. From there, it took off. The business started from there, in doctor's words. That was the first challenge in Malaysia. There onwards, it started growing slowly, slowly, the business. Then came Indonesia, Mr. Budiman's place. DXN went to Indonesia, started doing business. It was growing well. In 1997, 98, there was a big crisis. The currency depreciated almost 10 times, nine to 10 times. Every companies were increasing the price. And the members were in such a state that DXN is also going to increase. Doctor called a leaders meeting. Everybody looking at Dr. Lim's face that DXN is also going to increase the price. Doctor promised one thing. Next to three months, I will not increase the price. It was everybody relieved themselves that three months they can do the business. When every company, companies are increasing the price, DXN told, no, I will not increase. Because the will doctor has shown. 100,000 members joined every month, month by month. People were in queue. 250 tokens were issued. People were in the queue. That brought back the business in Indonesia. That was one of the biggest crises DXN has encountered in Indonesia. We went through that too. Then came Philippines. One of the top executives who was so influential left the company. When he left, he took so many of the top management people too from the company. So the Philippine operation was in crisis. You know what happens when a bunch of top executives leave the company. Doctor himself flew to Philippines and took charge of the operation. He himself and brought back the business to stability. Because these were the markets which were giving the major share of the business of DX in that time. It was not like now. Today we have operations all over the world. But that time, if these markets go, DXN will be in deep crisis. So doctor himself coming down and taking the responsibility and preserving the business. That was the third challenge. Then fourth came in the Gulf region. I was part of that. When we went to Gulf to do the business, no direct selling company was operating there. The market was so 
skeptical about this business because few companies came in bef before and hit the market, went away with a lot of money. So the government was very much against direct selling companies. We were afraid. If a local Arab man passes, we stop talking about business. You know, we sit in the office, when we give a presentation, when somebody is passing, we stop. So the person sitting in front of us, he doesn't know why I stopped giving presentation. Because we were so afraid. What happens, we do not know. Started small. We were doing meetings from home. You know, the first meeting we were doing from my apartment. The office was below, and my apartment was in the first floor. So in my center hall, we bring the people, make them sit, and give the presentation. Five or six people, one or two become member. In the first office, me as a country manager, I did not have a place to sit. We can only go to the office in the evening to see how many coffees we sold. If somebody buy five coffees, we were so happy. Today, five coffees sold. You know, first month, our sale was some 2,000 dirhams. It's like 500 euro. It started growing. Every day, we used to do two to three house meetings. People come to our office, and seeing our office, they don't join. We cannot trust this company. This is such a small company. Gani knows the history. But from there, we started growing really started growing. Sincerity. Sincerity, we were sincerely doing the business and we believed that nothing will happen to the company because we are not doing anything wrong. And that belief saved us. And today, DXN Gulf is one of the top performing branches of DXN in the whole world. We have almost 600,000 members. 45 world-class offices and almost 3 million euro sales every month is happening from few branches all over Gulf. And the situation has reached such a level <laughs> just watch this. You know what it is? Yeah. It's a beautiful gift pack. It's a gift pack from Dubai Palace. The Palace of Dubai. They have taken, selected our coffee as their coffee. <laughs> we are producing, we are producing special coffee as per the taste of the top people in Dubai. As per their taste, we are producing. And they have made this box to gift to the country heads or the top people who ever visit them. From being afraid of people, they themselves, you can see where we have reached, from where to where. One, once upon a time, we were afraid of the people, even a, a, a normal person who is in a white dress, today we have access to the palace. They call us, come, we have to discuss how to finalize. And they flew all the way to Malaysia, to the factory. They called me one day, then they asked, asked me, we want this coffee, immediately. Today, tonight, I want to fly to factory, Malaysia. Can you arrange it? I called Dr. Lim, doctor, this is the request, what to do? Arrange. That night, flew to Malaysia. They arranged the, the design, the, the sample. Emirates, special arrangement from the flight. They send the sample. They verified. The person stays there, then informs the person back this sample. They select it. 
So this is an amazing achievement for a company, direct selling company. There are so many companies selling coffee in Dubai. And the DXM coffee has been selected as their coffee, their choice. So now you can understand what is the value, the quality, or the name DXN is achieving, acquiring in this region. In Dubai, it becomes very easy for us now because everybody shows their photo now. Who's coffee? Who is drinking coffee? When we talk to some people, especially when you know, we talk about uh, to our friends, they reject, I mean, they say, oh, okay, your coffee, fine, good. But when we show this picture, wow, they cannot believe this is happening. So another crisis we encountered in Sudan. One day I got a call. Few of our staff have been arrested and put in jail. You know why? Because they banned MLM in Sudan. They told it is haram, means illegal as per their term. So they are in jail. My two, three staff were in jail. So we had to go release them. They told close the office. They sealed the office. No more, you can sell. So every day I go to the security, the police, please allow us to sell the product. No MLM. We will sell traditionally because we have to clear the stock. So much of stock. They told, no way. We will not allow you to sell even. Take back all your product. You are cheating people. We told, no, we are not cheating. It is genuine business. No. 40 days. 40 days, every day we go to the court, sit there, and they look at us in such a, you know, mean gesture. Every day, 41st day, our request is only to allow us to sell the product and clear the products. I don't know. 41st day, they are giving a verdict. You can start doing MLM itself. You are permitted to do business back. Can you imagine? 40 days they did not allow us even to sell. 41st day they are giving the verdict from the court. Your business is genuine. You can continue to sell the product in direct selling business model itself. I, I believe it was the intervention of Almighty. Because no other reason I can see 40 days they did not allow, 41st day they allow. Another, the similar way, there was another um, challenge in Sudan that was the currency. When the Sudan was separated, South Sudan and North Sudan, the currency came down to, from two pound to one dollar, two pound to one dollar, it came down to 10 dollar, 10 pound to one dollar. So it was a pathetic situation. We have to send the product to Sudan and unable to send the money. Keep sending the product, money does not come. And the money, bank takes the money and keep with them. So I asked Dr. Lim what to do. Seven months, our money is accumulated in the bank, products keep going. So doctor told me, continue to send the products. Don't worry about the money. Because if somebody is taking our product for their livelihood. I don't care about profit now. It is a time to support the market. Keep sending the goods. So this is the values that we follow. You know, people in Sudan, they sell one coffee, one toothpaste, and buy their bread for today. This is how some of the people live there. And DXN protected their interest. Though the company was in deep trouble, seven to eight months, we could not get any money. But finally, somehow, they started allowing us to send back the money. With the patience, we could succeed in Sudan. Another challenge was in Pakistan. There was a verdict from a high court in Lahore that you cannot do MLM in Pakistan. When we wanted to open, all the agencies told, don't go. You cannot, you cannot 
operate in Pakistan. We cannot operate in Pakistan. But we went. We went and started the business. First to five years, no business, little business. So we were thinking what to do, whether to continue or to close. People slowly started gaining trust in the company and started, business started growing further. Today we are doing almost three crore business in Pakistan, almost 70,000 members, 40 people qualifies for TSIP. We never gave up, continued the business. Whatever challenges we went through in Pakistan, nobody knows, only the management knows. And today, the governor of Pakistan recognized the company, the best brand in Pakistan. Wow. This was one of the recent one in India. Some of you may be knowing. The operation of one country, you know, we trust sometimes some people and ask them to run the business. So they were supposed to run the business as if it is run by the company, DXN. And sometimes people have thinking different way. They think different way. They feel after some time they are bigger than the company, which is not healthy. So similar situation happened in uh, India. India was one of the biggest market of DXN. The whole operation is running. The management had big problem. DXN has to take over the whole operation. Moving from one company to another company, the whole network, and anything can happen. With the help of Theo, a round of applause to Mr. Theo, under his leadership. Of course, you know, all the various of the company were planned, strategies and planning. We made such a plan. We pulled a few of our executives, placed, planned in such a way, the whole network moved from one company to another without disturbing the business. It moved on. The sale came down half, first month. Second, third, fourth month, it went back to the same sale or even higher sale than before. And today, DXN India is thriving compared to the past. This one, I would say, one of the biggest operation or biggest challenges the company has encountered. Of course, Mr. Lim is sitting here. His contribution also I should uh, remember now what happened in few days' time to launch a program and take over all the members to another company. So people who believed in the company, we preserved their interest and in continuing the operation. Jordan, this is a case study for us. For the first 10 years in Jordan, the business was almost 500 euro to 700 euro. 10 years. Only this sale. A small office was running for 10 years, 500 to 700 euro only. <coughs> Nothing more than that. Then came, so what will you do? 10 years if the business is less than 1,000 euro, what, what a, any company will do? Close. Close and run away, correct? Because there is no point in uh, continuing the business anymore. Ten years, this sale. No, DXN did not do that. We stayed back. Persistence, that was the quality. There came one lady. One single lady. She made a miracle. She made a miracle. Now the sale suddenly started growing. Less than one year, 10 years, less than 1,000 euro. 11th year, the sale rose to 100,000 euro. One year time, from 1,000 to 100,000. Almost 
15 people qualified for the TSIP in the cruise. She's talking in the TSIP program, this lady. This, this can teach us some lesson. You know, any time, we did not change anything. The business, the product, the company set up, everything was same. Some leader, one leader emerged. She has brought so many similar people from her group, emerged. They, they were not networkers. She created networkers. And now it's DX and jo of course, we had to um, open a new branch, big office, everything happened. Now the business is thriving in Jordan. So any moment, this can happen anywhere. Anywhere. Even if your business is not doing well, you can take this as an example. It is not, it may not be the problem of the system or may not be the problem of you even. It may be certain other factors which is influencing your business not to grow. If you do something, little change, or to find a somebody who can take your business from zero to 100, everything can change. So do not lose hope. That is what we are also doing. So from our past experience in many countries, we have encountered similar problems. With that experience, and with the financial stability of the company, we can do the experiments in different countries. That's why we are able to persist, continue the operation even when the business is not in profit. So this is, these are all some of the lessons we have learned. Now, Europe. We started eight years ago, as you all know. Entering into Europe was a mammoth task or something which was not happening for DX in quite a long time. Many tried, but it did not happen. Of course, Mr. Stephen and Mr. Laszlo, they came together and launched the business in Europe. A round of applause to both of them. We are very much we are very much grateful to them because they really did it single-handedly. DXN did not come along with them. They did everything. After some time, it was necessary for the company to give them support. So we came and hand in hand, as a teamwork, we started expanding. We started operation in few countries. Slovakia, Czech Republic, Greece, Bulgaria, Spain, Italy. Where else? Poland, Poland Germany, Sweden, UK. Where else? Norway. You can tell me more than me, you know. Yeah? So DXN is, DXN has really did something good in Europe from the very beginning stage to up to now. We have really expanded. We have covered all over Europe. Anywhere in Europe, we can send products now. That situation is there, anywhere. Some of the countries really grew very fast, like Hungary, Slovakia, Czech, Italy, Spain. Of course, Greece grew very well, very fast. Some of them, Poland, I should uh, mention Poland, without even an office, they grew very well. A round of applause to Anna and Mr. Thomas, their contribution. Don't mistake me if I'm not taking other leaders' name, but I'm just mentioning somebody, uh, someone who has really um, uh, did it uh, without much support from the company. You know, there are so many leaders emerging, doing very well, working very hard to take the business forward. Single-handed, uh, um, single-handedly they are doing the business in some few countries. And I'm very hopeful that we will have good business in such countries like Sweden, um, UK, business is growing. 
So now here, we have a lot of challenges. You know, a lot of challenges we are facing in Europe. But at the same time, challenges can be converted into opportunities. Many region or countries, we are not growing because we did not find the right leader, like Jordan. When we found the right leader, we grew. But in Europe, we have so many leaders, so many leaders. Mr. Laszlo, one of the best leaders we have in the whole DXN, the whole world, one of the best leaders he is. The fastest. So much of, so much of ideas, passion, working day and night. He alone has brought the business to this level. Most of you are in his team. Of course, there are so many other uh, um, team also working in different countries. So we have no scarcity of leaders, basically. We have a good company, good products, full support system is there compared to some eight years ago. We have full flood system, a lot of support. This is one region where you have so many facilities from the company. DSP, no other region or country has DSP system. 10% discount back every time you purchase. IOC has been launched here to give you more bonus. People, some of you may have an apprehension or a, a different thinking that IOC is for the company. No, IOC is for you. We give more. 50% is the SV in IOC. You should remember that. And free membership. It is for you. It is from a humble thought from Dr. Lim that people are unable to make money faster in DXN. That made him to contribute or design IOC. He himself designed IOC. Mr. Osler was part of that discussion in South Africa. Me, Osler, and Dr. Lim. There, it was born. So it was launched for you to make money faster. You know, you can see in markets, people spend money knowing that it is a scam company. They burn their money knowingly that it can, it is like fishing. Put a small fish and get bigger fish. They may lose their small fish, but in DXN there is no small fish. You never lose anything. You pay money and buy products. Even in IOC, you can select your products, you pay money only for the products. No membership fee. You get higher bonus. And why we don't use it? It is for you, not for the company. Of course, company is giving back a little more with that principle that if the wholesale increases, companies, even though the profit is less in IOC or in DSP, we can recoup from the, the, uh, the scale of sale. That was the thinking, why doctor designed IOC. It is a fantastic opportunity for you. Use it. Instead of putting money in scam companies, put it in IOC. You can buy products and use it. For using the product, company is paying you money. Combine IOC with SIM. I mean the existing plan, IOC. The best combination would be buy, make a member with DSP, ask them to buy an IOC, do 300 PV every month in SIMP. Sponsor six people in the first generation. Ask everybody to continue to do that. You will see in one year time, you achieving whatever you want in your life. In one year time, you can achieve that. Six people sponsor. Do 300 PV every month. DSP will give you discount. IOC will give you huge income and SIMP maintenance will give you, give you stability and continuous income. Such a best combination is available, but somehow it is not implemented or penetrated into the market. Take this as a, as a message, as a strategy, and try to do that. It's for you. As much as for the company, it's for you too. So the challenges we have to face together. Never think company is going to do something, a miracle, so that the sale will shoot up. No, that may not happen. We have to work hand in hand. Only then the, the clap can happen, you know? Can you clap? How will you clap?
Thank you very much. This is, the time has come for this. It's not one. It represents everybody, company as well as you. We have to work hand in hand. Keep aside all the differences, ego, complaints. Everybody has problems. No worries. Complaints are there. There is no human being who does not have complaints. The more you complain, the more poison you are putting in you. Keep aside complaints, dissatisfaction, no problem. But when come to business, business first, all others secondary. If we have a positive attitude towards the business, towards ourselves, everything can be achieved. This is one important thing for us to grow. Our competition should not be among us. Competition should be outside the company, to the outsiders, to the third party, not among us. We have to work hand in hand as a family, the management and the leaders, between the leaders, love each other, because DX is a big family. All the challenges can come, but we have to encounter. Networkers are not normal people. They are different. Everybody cannot become a networker, especially successful networker. It is impossible. Everyone cannot. An extra chip is needed here for you to persist in this business and succeed. Normal people cannot become successful in MLM, especially in DXM, because you need to have certain characteristics, values that will contribute you to become successful. In my long journey with the DXN, I have seen people with special skills, special values, only succeed in this business. All those who had negative traits in them, they perish. They perished. Even after becoming successful, they perished. In, with my own eyes, I have seen. If you are su surviving in DXN, if you are thriving in DXN, remember, you are exceptional. You are great. That's why you are in DXN still. All right? So, <laughs> never give up. Whatever happens, never give up. When someone tells you that, you can do something, especially in MLM, many people tell you, you cannot do. Look around. Consider all options then go for it. Use all the gifts God has given to you. Be creative. In the end, you will succeed and prove them all wrong. Always remember, if there is a will, there is a way. Wish you all the best. Good morning.